Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, today Inferno Shard One Hoffman here bringing you back with another video. And today in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the difference of Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto 4 of why Grand Theft Auto 4 is better than Grand Theft Auto 5. So, um, I got my Xbox 360 hooked up to my Xbox One and I got my Xbox One both hooked up. So, um, I'm actually going to show you d uh, gameplays on both of the games and show you a couple of the things of why Grand Theft Auto 4 is better than Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, we all know that in Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 5, the one thing that's better than 4 is we, of course, of course we know is definitely the graphics because we know the graphics of Grand Theft Auto 5 is better than Grand Theft Auto 4. But and personally, in my opinion, I like the graphics in Grand Theft Auto 4 no matter what. I, I, I think 5 is better, but then again, I still like Grand Theft Auto 4's graphics, and I still think Grand Theft Auto 4's graphics look pretty darn realistic. Now, um, right now, I'm going to actually switch over to Grand Theft Auto 5, so um, you guys don't have to worry about nothing. And um, see, as you can see, you can tell the difference of Grand Theft Auto 5 of why the graphics are better. Now, here's one thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to run into a building and all that, and I'm going to show you the difference of what happens. Well, I ran into a car, so, <laughs> as you can see, now watch. Now, you see that I didn't go out of the building, but watch on 4 what happens when I go really fast and I hit a building, too. You'll understand the difference of what happens. So, um, we, honestly, everybody thought Grand Theft Auto 5 was going to be better than 4, which, personally, it is by... And quite a few things. Actually, I didn't even uh, I didn't even actually like hit a building right in front. But you could see on um, the difference of how the gameplay uh, with the cars actually turn in Grand Theft Auto 4 that feels more realistic than 5 because the cars of the drafting actually is more better than 5. So um. Other than that, we we know everything about it. Okay, since actually we somewhat know about this, I'm going to look for somebody, and I'm going to show you in Grand Theft Auto V right now. So we actually know is that, watch out here. Okay, so when you face somebody, you know something that happens like they're pretty much dead when you, uh, like, actually punch them. Now watch. Look at that. Well, usually, most of the time on Grand Theft Auto V, you actually, when you punch somebody, they're just flat out dead. They're usually f flat out dead. I mean, and usually you can't, like, do anything. But then, in Grand Theft Auto IV, we actually actually are fighting people when you see somebody. I Hang on a second. I need to get somebody. I'm actually going to show him, show everyone of this. And now look at that. He actually kicks him out. Now see, look. Look at what I'm doing. You can act, you actually fight them and you don't just take one hit and or two hits, and they're exactly dead. You actually fight. See, that's one thing that's realistic for Grand Theft Auto 4 that 5 doesn't, because when on 5, you when you usually hit somebody, they're either dead or they're half dead, and you hit them one more time, and you actually kill them. But on here, you actually fight most of the time. So that's what's real, one thing realistic about Grand Theft Auto 4 and all that stuff. So, um... Yeah, guys, and then watch what happens. You, on the cops, you actually can go up to them, and they actually raise their hands up, but, or I mean, you raise your hands up on Grand Theft Auto 5, and you're pretty much busted, but on Grand Theft Auto 4, if you're just walking around a cop, and something like happens, you're really not arrested, unless you actually start shooting off of a bullet. See, now, as you can see, you can tell the graphics 
I honestly think the graphics on Grand Theft Auto 4 still look pretty darn good and pretty darn real. They may not look as real and as good as Grand Theft Auto 5 from the 360 and the Xbox One because definitely Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox One looks better and because definitely since it's on the same console as this game, you understand that the game still looks realistic no matter what. Now, I'm going to actually do this since it's actually daytime and it's not hard to see cars. And I'm going to show you what exactly happens when you go so fast and you hit a building. You're honestly going to be exposed. If these freaking idiots do not keep moving in the middle of my road, I would actually be showing you. Let me, just let me try it real quick. I'm still going fast. Don't worry, guys. I'm still doing it. I'm trying, guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, usually you would fly out of the car when something like that happens. So, and you see in GTA 5, you did not do that. But it'll happen in Grand Theft Auto 4. So, um, yeah, guys, there is quite a bit of things that makes Grand Theft Auto 4 more real realistic than what 5 is. But Grand Theft Auto 5 just has a couple things that Grand Theft Auto 4 ain't realistic by. Um, we know for a fact one of them is definitely the graphics. So we already know that the graphics on Grand Theft Auto 5 are definitely 100% better than 4. But the physics in 4 actually is better than 5. Like, all this stuff. Because, see, Rockstar, when Rockstar was designing Grand Theft Auto 5 at the time... They were honestly mainly was focusing on the graphics and stuff, and the story was all. And Garantha thought it for at the time when they were designing it right after the day San Andreas was released, they were actually trying to make it realistic because at the time, uh, when the Xbox 360s were out, um, they were. It was the newest version of Grand Theft Auto ever, and they were trying to make it feel as realistic as what we look. But when Grand Theft Auto V was getting designed, they didn't focus on making it as real. They only focused on the graphics and the story mostly. But in four, they were actually focusing on making it as real as us. But in, but if you guys like this video, and um, you guys honestly like Grand Theft Auto IV better than five, and you guys uh, think that Grand Theft Auto IV is better than five, and you guys think uh, um, you guys love it more than five, uh, send me in the comments below and tell me subscribe my channel, guys, and uh, and tell me what you guys think about four and which one you like between better than four. I personally like Grand Theft Auto Five just a slightly bit better than four, but I still love Grand Theft Auto Four a whole lot. So um, if you guys could tell me um, tell me your comments about what you think about Grand Theft Auto 4 between Grand Theft Auto 5 and which one you like the most and which one you like the least and everything else. And actually, actually, you just seen that right there before I was scared to go. I actually fell through the windshield of the front of the window. And on Grand Theft Auto 5, that hardly happens that often. So that's another thing that why Grand Theft Auto 4 is more better and more realistic. So, um, like I said, guys, um, if you guys uh, tell me in the comments below of what you guys think about Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5 about the difference, if you think uh, one's real and one, which one you like the most, uh, just just like send me in the comments below of what you think between the both of them. And uh, subscribe my channel, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So, um, you'll have a good one. Peace out, guys.